And now we convert from rectangular to polar form. So now we're taking equations with just x and y. We want to eliminate x and y and get things in terms of r and theta if they're needed. Now, for the first one, you might recognize, hey, that's a circle with a radius of 3 based on your knowledge of circles. And you might have remembered, hey, that's just r equals 3. If you do remember that, you're done with the problem. But if not, remember, we've got these key formulas. I've got r squared equals x squared plus y squared. x squared plus y squared is there. We have r squared equals 9. We take the square root of both sides and we get r equals plus or minus 3. Now, we normally express a radius in terms of distance, or r in terms of distance, or even our hypotenuse in terms of distance from the center. So we normally just represent that as a positive 3. I could technically represent it as a negative 3, but I'm going to just go with a positive value here. 